Oh, caught that one straight in the face. So oh, what is this? Whoa, what's the chances of getting through here? Another wallaby. Try not to fall in that hole. They are some big ruts. bit of sand. All right so today we're just going for a little bit of a ride up in the bush. As to where we're going I'm not too sure just going for a short little ride today wherever the track takes us. this track. Let's get down this track a little bit further and have a look. We just pulled off. We just pulled off the, another track onto another track, and so there seems to be like a network of roads out here. Definitely a good old bike this one. Whoa. Like I say I haven't had it for for he heaps long and to be honest I'm already too big for it. Like for me I'm six foot two so now I think in the DRZ line up the DRZ 400 is the highest and it's not that much higher than the 250. I think I read somewhere that the 650 is even lower than the 250. Don't know how true that is but um I was going to say, these trucks don't look like they've sort of been used in a while. Oh, and... 
Back out on the road. A few cars here at four pipes by the looks of it. Or just the one car. That's not a truck guys, that's just like a car park. Or was a car park or something similar. Mania that uh, that after the forestry are done with their plantations up here, such as such as the road that leads to the plantations out this way, and they've harvested them and they put them back to vegetation. They don't maintain the roads anymore. And so what happens is you'll see the further along we go, is the roads get narrower, the trees build up around them, slowly grow. They they even they even grow in the road. Um, they don't grade them so they become very bumpy and then they end up washed out as trucks and things and uh, yeah then then eventually there's no roads up into the bush and um, people are forced to uh, make their own trucks and then they whinge that then they whinge that um, people are tearing up the bush making motorbike trucks do that truck This is a sort of a test run and a and a moto vlogging uh, test run. I've, this is also my first video with the new GoPro. Why am I in that gear? Jesus Christ! I'll show you how uh, how nice this bike is. It was letting me do 50 kilometres an hour in fifth gear. Now I don't know if you heard me saying before, but these roads where they once did forestry, they, after they finish, they no one maintains them, and eventually they just become trucks, and then uh, people make their own trucks through the bush because they can't travel on these roads anymore, and uh, then they complain that uh, then they complain that uh, people are tearing up the bush making tracks and things. This bike is, I do need a, to buy a uh, taller seat. 
Now, can, if anyone's watching this uh, and does know, let me know in the comments. Uh, are DRZ 400 and DRZ 250 seats are they the same? Because I know some products market themselves as DRZ 400 um, only parts, even though they fit uh, DRZ. 400s, 250s and 650s uh, but that's also not always the case sometimes there are specific parts to 400s so if, yeah someone could let me know in the comments below please do thank you and whilst you're, whilst you're at a full screen mate I also would appreciate it if you could whoa, like and subscribe to the video it really does help me out Helps, you know, it's free it's help, and it helps small channels grow. Whoa! It's a very windy day today. I did question actually coming for a ride, but I had nothing on, and so I was just going for a short ride. Haven't been on the bikes in a little while. Nothing hard today. We're just cruising, checking out the bush. Oh, that's a... That's why you wear a helmet. That was a rock flicking off my helmet. Some sort of bridge here. I think we're right for the weight limit. Wherever, wherever the bridge is. Uh, we must have gone over it. it must have just been one of those... Uh, where they just put some pipes under the road and uh, put fill it, backfill it with dirt and gravel uh, to Ford they, oh, they just put some signage up there's a washed out bridge here the bridge was uh, washed out due to structural failure that sign was not saying that there was a Ford Ranger or something out here it's just the bridge is gone so if you do want to pass through you do have to cross this little creek that's relatively oh relatively shallow at the moment I do want to keep, keep making videos like this because I do enjoy it and there's just you know film as you go tight videos Having two GoPros really, really is a lot better. Although, I don't think, uh, I don't, I just don't feel like the Hero 12 is like built out of, like, the, the build quality may be the same, but the materials used just don't seem, don't seem as good as the ones they used it to build the Hero 9. Like, the feet feel a lot, like, plastic on the Hero 12 and they feel like they'll bend, flex and break a bit easier um, whereas on the on the uh, Hero 9 they um, they metal and seem like they'd hold up a bit better these roads out here they're pretty much like closed like yes you can still yes you can still get through them but uh, I don't think it's you know advised well, I suppose they must be open if they're still putting signs up because those signs weren't there last time we was here. So, who knows? I hope the wind noise isn't too bad. I've uh, tapped the lavalier mic. I've chucked the lavalier mic right, right in behind the helmet there. So, uh, you should just, you know, hear my voice and the motorbike and not too much wind noise. Even in the helmet, I can hear a lot of, you know, wind whooshing by, but I don't know. So it's a bit of a trial run, we'll just see how it goes and if you've got any if you've got any ways to improve it, please do let me know. Ah, another Ford. Now this is a recent one, this was not like this last time, there was definitely a bridge here last time. It wasn't that long ago we was out here either. It was not that long ago. Oh, 
probably, you know, it'd be a few months, but you know, you can come back to the same track ten times. You would, sorry, you can come back to the same track ten years later, and it's the same. You know, the trees might grow up a bit, but you know, some they might they won't have done any changes like that to it. This sort of thing's very popular in Tasmania, just going out for a ride. Some more signs just down this way. Another Ford. Wow, well, they've uh, really been doing some excavation up this way. It doesn't even look like there's been any excavators or things here. And another one. Oh, never mind. We're not going. We're not going that far. Let's see what's up this way then. So that's the beauty of it. You just you just go up because there's so many of these trucks and things, and, and see what you can find. You never know what you find up one of these trucks though. Sometimes an old gate doors open inviting us in. Sometimes there's a tree across the truck, sometimes there's a gate, sometimes there's a washed out bridge or creek or whatever that you can't get through. It just yeah depends on the day. Low hanging branches is another reason I like having the GoPro sort of on the helmet in front of it because um, if you have it on top and you duck down you still got a big, you know, camera whacked on top of it and whilst it's unlikely that it's going to make it fall off it might bend it down or who knows what to it, scratch the lens or what is this? See, you never know what you're going to find. An old old car we might do that one because I reckon there's steep hills this way keep going along the track with the road wheels on or okay. what keep going along the road wheels on down back oh that one oh right okay I've got no front brakes so I can't do anything too speed yeah yeah just just go easy or whatever
we uh, obviously dad's little fix at home didn't actually fix the brake because uh, because when he was sick, well before he fixed it he said uh, brakes are for only for people who want to slow down uh, he's then fixed the brake so he must want to slow down and uh, now it's broken again it, uh, Oh, well, it'll be there, you see? Never know what you're going to find. I might even incorporate a bit of everything that we find into the thumbnail somehow. I've got a bit of an idea for how it could look. See another older, old, unused truck coming down onto this one. It's just a, a vast network. And you can definitely tell the further you like go away from our like home, the, the you can just even on the mountain bike trails at St Helens when you ride them on a mountain bike. Not that I'm saying you ride it on a motorbike, um, but when I've ridden them before, you uh, oh, can definitely tell that the environment changes and the like you're going into different areas, another wallaby. Oh my nose. I caught that one straight in the face. Ow. Woo. Oh well. Caught it somewhere. Oh, that. It's not bleeding. I don't think, no. Just, just a little bit of snot. Okay, that's, uh, my nose will be right, bright red now. Whoa! And there, you should not probably ride this close to the person in front of you. Like, that's a good distance to keep, I reckon, in the bush. Oh, shit. Uh, Sticks are far out, they're dangerous. Like, they're one of the most dangerous things you'll... Sticks and branches are the most dangerous thing you'll find in the bush. Such as this one, and that one. Ugh. Even though I've got goggles on and a helmet on. Uh -huh. I uh, I broke in a high gear and uh, stalled it, and then bumped over that log, and then uh, had to start it again without, and put it in gear, and it took off again without even stopping. The beauty of electric start. And the beauty of knocking... Oh, that's... Whoa, shit. Ah, oh, well, I... Mm, Dad's found a hill. I wonder if he'll turn around here. I... Oh, well, maybe not. It might not be that steep, actually. GoPros are notorious for deceiving, uh, for deceiving the height of hills or how steep the hills and things are. Oh, that's a big rock. Ooh. See, obviously, no one's been down here for a while, and it looks like. We might be going back to that other road. That's a few dead ends today. Oh, yeah, it's still recording, that's good. 
Oh, it's gone down. <laughs> this is no longer a truck. And this is what oh, eventually happened to all those oh, roads that we uh, were on today and they won't want anyone going up to the bush and understandably oh shit um, understandably um, I can see why the government don't want people going up in the bush because they dump all their rubbish and stuff but where's it? Oh, that's why you don't... Uh, turn the key off. Uh, and that's what happens when you... Add things. Slide out in front of you. Uh, I don't even know where he went. Where the hell did he go? Hmm. Maybe not that way. What's the chances of getting through here? Oh yeah, there he is. Shit, that is a big hole. It's coming back this way. Uh, nothing much down here. Just stop, Hey? Just stop. Does it? Huh. Try not to fall in that hole again. It's, a, it's the beauty of riding out here, but there is so much stuff to to get stuck on, like trees and stuff like that. Oh my god, your hips definitely get a get a workout and feel like you pop them out of joint when you're uh, out there. We didn't come this way, did we? Yep. Ah, oh dear. Ow, my knee. Oh, shit. That really... I just bounced in a hole there. Who knows how much sticks, or how many sticks, who knows how many sticks and things I have <sighs> Bloody stuck on me Just want to sort of Cruise back up to the, back up to the Oh, the truck we was on Back on the road. It's funny how Dad just said that you know this 
the track just bloody stopped. Like, how does a truck like this just, you know, avail to nothing? More importantly, look out for sticks. My brother tore open his leg riding through the bush. Um, well, we parked at a little motocross track actually and been riding through the bush and we didn't have motorbike boots on and just going around the uh, track that no one had ridden around in a little, like in a long time and, um, and Sam did sort of a jump and landed, went a few feet, went off the track, like not, oh, sorry, not even off the track, just wasn't in the centre of the track anymore. Um, a stick was tearing, tearing out, tore through, it would not even, he didn't even tear through his motorbike trousers, um, didn't even tear through his motorbike trousers, but tore his leg, like, clean open, like it was, it was all the length of his shin. There's another wallaby. Did it? Can't have an, uh, can't have any issues with his back brake as well. That's no good. And the only, yeah, sorry, and back to the story, and the only thing keeping, um, keeping Sam's, uh, leg fucking, like, uh, in, like, keeping it. turn off, Nah. Um, the only thing keeping Sam's leg together was... The only thing keeping Sam's leg together, like and clean, was a was a pants he was wearing, and thankfully he was back at the Ute then, and then they had the first aid kit, uh, and that was the last time Sam has really been on the motorbike in the bush, or actually on the motorbike at all. He's he sat on them, tried to build up his confidence, but he just uh, can't get the confidence to get back on them. Which, like, is understandable, but... <laughs> back on the road. Why are we going back up here? We will be doing some circles today. Funny how, you know, that road suddenly turned to rock, shaley, ooh, shaley track. And even, you know, one hitting one rock and throw you off your bike. Well, you know, your, your wheel's on the wrong angle, your weight's in the wrong spot. And even if it's only, you know, for a second, it only takes a second to throw you off the bike. You keep... You keep going. I think he went this way. side sometimes you think you're shifting into gear one and you're actually shifting into uh, neutral on this bike and uh, and let me tell you when you realize it is not a fun feeling especially when you really really need to be in gear one
going up these sorts of hills is a hell of a lot more fun than going down them. You can't lock up when you're half in a ditch either. Just got to let the bike do the work. And then, before you know it, you're back down onto semi semi flat ground. Problem is, people get up here and their buggies and quad bikes and just tear. And essentially, you know, they're always spinning the wheels around and and they, that's the, like motorbikes do it too, but the buggies and quad bikes, that's what gets the, gets the big rocks flicked up. Like, here I should probably be on the other side of the track. And then, now you're into the bloody sandy loamy sort of stuff. It's, it's funny how it changes. The hill that I rode down in one video and fell off, I'm I'm half sure that that, that, that was this hill. Oh, um, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. I've been on this truck before though. How many kilometres have we done? We've done 37 kilometres so far. Today. Oh, that was a deep. Alright. I am. Huh. Funny, funny place to stall. While I'm here, I'll make sure I'm in, in gear one and try to sneak onto this side of the track. And onto this side of the track. They are some big ruts. All right, let's. Maybe this was the hill, actually. I'm just thankful I'm going up this hill, not down it. Ah. 